I've come to Totnes in Devon, one of the UK's most forward-thinking towns when it comes to sustainability and the environment. It's fitting that I'm meeting a couple who are pioneers of the package-free movement. Former footballer Richard Eckersley and his wife Nicola created the Zero Waste Shop, which was the first business of its kind on a UK high street when it opened its door a year ago. I want to find out what being waste-free really means and if it could be the beginning of a new era for our shopping habits. Richard. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Looks fantastic. Hello. Hello, so I was going for a hand that's holding. <laughs> I'm Nicola and this is Willow. Hello, Willow. So you are the first zero waste shop in the country. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, That's quite a thing. I saw a picture of something like this in Berlin and I was just bowled over that there wasn't anything in the UK. So then we just decided to create it. The idea is basically we eliminate disposable plastic on drag goods. We encourage people to reuse over recycling. These machines basically let you weigh anything. Weigh the container first, fill it and then pay for just what you get. Quite often, especially with the baking goods, someone's baking a cake for a birthday, they'll buy a bag of flour, a bag of sugar, and then it all just ends up in the cupboard for years. In my case, it ends up in the back of the cupboard for <laughs> perhaps a decade. You're a complete counter, in a way, to the internet shopping revolution or era, if you like. And it's personal, which you don't get on the internet. That's what we like when we go into a shop. And that was the main thing with this shop. We created what we wanted. We wanted to be able to go and buy all this stuff ourselves for our family, and we couldn't. So we opened one so that we could. <laughs> could you do this elsewhere? Yeah, it's changing. And I think, yeah, the bigger supermarkets without naming any, I think soon they are going to offer an alternative. I think they know there's a demand. And it's not just food products that can be stripped of their excess plastic. Toothpaste comes in a plastic tube, doesn't it? No, doesn't have to. Here, it comes in a little glass jar. And what about tea or washing up liquid? You can even get enviro-friendly toothbrushes. But does this planet-loving way of thinking really work on the high street? I can see how this is obviously really working as an idea. Is it working as a business? It's working as a business. Um, you know, we've got six employees. I'm not going to buy a yacht or anything like that, but I'm really happy in where I am right now. You know, it's ticking over, it's paying the rent, it's paying the employees. And that's why other businesses like this are opening up around the country, because they're thinking, ha, I can do that. We can have a living off it. Do you feel more satisfaction, purpose and meaning here now than, than playing top league football? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 